officially seen the sail away party, or sail a wave, excuse me. Um, it was so good, and we finally got the horn on the first try, as opposed to, I don't even know how many takes it took on the last cruise, but. 50. It was about 50. <laughs> it was so good though. Oh my gosh, I know we're officially on vacation. <laughs> oh, all right, let's go grab some snacks from Cabanas as we wait to pull away from the dock. Celebrating sail away with some chicken wings. <laughs> no better way. stateroom and we have a few fun activities that we are actually doing on this cruise and we're actually putting it together right now so wanted to show you what those are I said I got to get my sea legs <laughs> every time I look down the boat it, it's not moving very much but every time the boat moves a little bit I start to fall it does feel like it's moving more a than bit, right? usual yeah. yeah okay all right I'm glad you said that because I was like I don't want to seem like a baby <laughs> uh, so this is something called a fish extender and I believe it's called that because outside of Disney doors, there is a uh, metal figurine sculpture of a fish. And so you extend this from your fish, hence fish extender. I don't know where it started. I don't know how it started, but it's a thing. <laughs> and I had never heard of it before. And Shine's like, we're gonna do a fish extender. And I'm like, like we fish off of our veranda? Like, what does that mean? And so apparently it is this fun concept that I am decorating right now that you will hang this off of, ah. off of your fish and you make presents for other people and other people make presents for you. It's like a little it's, gift exchange. Yeah, a gift exchange. So people will come up to our door and they'll drop off stuff and then we'll go up to people's doors and we'll drop off stuff. So I am at the moment putting together our fish extender. We're putting the final touches on our fish extender and then we also have, you'll probably recognize these if you have watched our vlogs before, but we have magnets. They're Rapunzel magnets to put on the door. Um, again, all Cody, he, granted he did find the photos online and just kind of nabbed them all online and yeah, then. That's not original artwork. Yeah, not original artwork, but since you know we're not selling them or anything we weren't too worried about it but we're gonna go put this on the door go hang up the fish extender once it's ready and then we'll eventually pass out our gifts but I think we're gonna wait a couple days to do that because it sounds like a lot of people like to do their fish extender gifts on the first couple of days and then on longer cruises like the seven night one it they tend to run out of gifts kind of easily and then you don't receive anything later on so we may wait a little bit to drop off our gifts uh, so there's some wonder wisdom for you if you're doing uh, some fish extenders 
then maybe wait a little bit to do them so that you can spread out the gifts. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> All right, how's it looking? I think good. Yeah? Yeah, decent. I think it looks very good, especially for it being so last minute. <laughs> A lot of hard work. No, I know it looks beautiful. And here it is. Pretty snazzy. Good job, mister. It's beautiful. Hand stitched in everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Magnets? Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't know how we set these up last time. Alright, I did it last time, so you do it for this one. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> How's it look? Oh, beautiful. He just locked me out, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah, I was like, I think you just locked me out. <laughs> I guess you can come back. <laughs> oh, thank you. Look at the cute little sticker. Adorable. Oh, oh, okay. That one was just, it was just breezy there. <laughs> All right, yay! Good job, Mister. Thank you. Ah, it's correct. We're doing TV Tunes trivia. I think is what it was. Pretty sure we've been here twice because we did a Marvel. Oh yeah, trivia. one that we lost to pretty badly. Um, yeah, and then the one that we lost. I feel like we were luckier on this side over here. Mm -hmm. We're visiting your mother. <laughs> oh, this is the first drink of the cruise. I mean, by first drink, I mean first drink of the day of the cruise. <laughs> and it is a paradise punch today. It's a, I don't even know how to say it, Vivi? Vive? I don't know. Some sort of acai berry liqueur with Malibu, coconut rum, pineapple juice, and grenadine. So let's uh, see how this bad boy is. No faces. It tastes like a pina colada. <laughs> <laughs> with maybe some acai. <laughs> don't they all? They all. So that is some wonder wisdom is that all of the, the drinks of the day seem like they are very similar to pina coladas. All very similar tastes, like with either the rum or the coconut or pineapple juice. All very similar, but still delicious and cheap. So there's that. <laughs> as you can tell by my accent, I come Please all the way from the faraway land known as the state of Georgia. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Anyone else? No? Thank you. Back there. I do accept the pity applause. Appreciate it. Thank you. Tell me the show it comes from, okay? It is simple as that. I don't need the artist, I don't need who's singing it, I don't need to know the name of the song. I just need to know the TV show it comes with. Pretty simple? Are we ready to get started? Okay, let's do it. Here is our first tune. Who's winning already? Again, the confidence in the room. All right, here's track number three. You lost me at that one. Oh. Here again. Song number five. Ooh. It started out so well. A lot of puzzled faces around the room. Okay, I'll keep walking. I'm looking for like The Office. Oh, yes. Friends. Where's those familiar tunes at? Okay, but we are a little over halfway, so we gotta check in with everyone. How are we doing? How's our confidence? Yikes, not great at all. 
slightly dwindling. That's okay. We have seven more. I believe in you all. Here's song number nine. It sounds very familiar. Who felt confident on this one? Just remember, I did not write this trivia. I did not make this trivia myself. And remember, you all chose to come to this trivia, okay? Routine. If you want to help another team, you could. That is I'm totally up to you. I mean, they're going to lose regardless. I don't know if you want to help them. No, I'm kidding. Okay, and just like that, we have reached the end. I gotta ask one more time, how are we feeling? Sad. Yikes. <laughs> Terrible. I just destroyed everyone's self-confidence here tonight. <laughs> Do you love that? You come to trivia with such high confidence, and then I destroy all of that. That's okay. Again, maybe TV Tunes, this version was not it for you. Number one. I feel like we started off strong. It was... Oh, that was... Sneaky. It's not playing anything. Oh, oh, there it is. It was delayed. It was, in fact, the Pink Panther. That's a little bit of an accent. Pink Panther. There we go. Game of Thrones. Yeah, same. I'm going to be completely honest. I never got into it. Never even saw one episode, though. This is a judgment free zone, though. Number five, though. Welcome back, Cotter. Where were you? We started at 745. We were waiting this whole time for you. It's okay. We have so many trivias throughout this entire cruise. It was Bork and Mindy. Bork and Mindy. It sounded really familiar, but I don't know why I would know this. Mork and Mindy, though. It's okay. All right, how about the last one? Laverne and Shirley. I'm proud of you. Laverne and Shirley. Yeah, should I be embarrassed that I haven't heard of most of these? Okay. We're, we're on the younger, younger side. That's okay. It is time to find our winners in the room, so tally up all those points you must have gotten. I'm going to, just because you said so. Well, since our at least got three correct, give me a woo! Woo! It's okay, no one noticed. Five. Seven. Yeah. Ten. Yikes, I lost everyone. Um, eleven. Anyone at twelve? Thirteen. Fourteen? Ah, oh, we got you at 13. Anyone else higher than 13? Going once. Going twice. <gasps> Sold to my friends over here in the corner. You are taking home the one of a kind, limited edition Disney Cruise Line luggage tags that I will bring to you in one moment's time. But everyone else, <gasps> did we still have fun? Did we discover that we don't watch as much TV as we thought we did? Or well, that was humbling. <laughs> <laughs> Three out of 15. <laughs> Three out of 15. We'll need to redeem ourselves on another TV it, tunes if a, there's another one. In our defense, that was a lot of stuff we've never ever seen. So many older shows. There's a lot of TV that's not just older. Oh boy. All right. Hopefully the next one. But now it's dinner time. It's dinner it's time. Dinner time. <laughs> Tiana's place. Here we come. Oh, Rapunzel. <laughs> <laughs> Cheyenne's favorite. That's my favorite. That and Pocahontas. If I were to see Pocahontas on the cruise, I would, I would die. <laughs>
all of our silverware was literally clinking together. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, but it's much better. <laughs> Tian is walking around right now. That's pretty cool. We did not see Tiana on the last cruise that we were here. But anyway, my first meal for the night, or first course I should say, is the Coronation of Mixed Leaves, which has tomatoes, blue cheese, apples, candy walnuts, and each red wine and vinegar. Sounds pretty good, so let's see. That's really good when you combine everything together into one bite. That's really good. I would definitely get this salad again. I would say we're gonna try a new rating system because I feel like, especially for me, I say everything tastes good because I <laughs> I don't like being critical. So to try attempt to be a little more honest, I'm gonna attempt to have us do some sort of rating system. And I would give this salad in honor of our cats. I'll give this four paws. Four paws out of five. I mean, I would definitely get this again. And they put a really good amount of dressing. I know you can ask to alter the dressing, um, you know, to whatever, however much you want, whether it be a little or a lot. But they put a good amount on it, which I'm happy about. So yeah, four paws out of five. So we can't wait for your restaurant to come there and then for Splash Mountain to become oh, your ride. I know. <laughs> yeah, you're becoming a chain now. Yes, I would love a picture. Yeah, okay, do you want one too? Or? Okay. <laughs> Yay! Thank you so much. I love that shirt. Right. One, two, three. goes automatically or is it just when it gets dark I turned, it does a... I don't know, I turned my timer off yeah. so Tiana and I just stood for an awkward amount of time. It's fine. Yeah, cool. oh my we didn't get to meet Tiana at all. Yeah, awesome. so during the COVID times they didn't do any character meet and greets and so at the restaurant they didn't have sense, yeah. the characters walking around at all. But now they do! That's so fun! If, um, what's the, what's the crocodile's name? Louis? If Louis comes around I want a picture with Louis. Okay, you can get the picture with Louis. Yeah. All right, so I'll explain my food issue later, but I have to have a very limited uh, diet on this cruise, unfortunately. So um, tonight I'm sticking with a lighter note called the chicken pita salad. It's a lemon marinated roasted chicken breast with tomatoes, cucumbers, chickpeas, mint, and feta cheese, which I don't have, tossed in a lemon dressing, which sounds good. Short of, I didn't say anything about uh, onions in there. I can't have onions, yeah. so. There are onions, that's why I. Yeah. I like cucumbers a lot though. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> it's the first thing besides french fries I've had all day, so it's very good. <laughs> you could eat anything at this point, no. it'd be good. <laughs> I forgot we have a rating system now, so I would say. I'm gonna give us like three and a half paws. Okay, solid. Five. Very good dressing, very good chicken, but it's on the plainer side. So, yeah, I'd say three and a half. Very good though, I like it. I got the New York sirloin steak. It has truffle layer potatoes with it, honey parsnips, and buttered spinach with a pepper sauce on the side. So, let's see. I accidentally got my knife in the, in the sauce, so I have to very awkwardly cut this. very good especially with the potatoes oh. I would give this also a four out of five I swear it's not gonna be a trend four paws out of five only because 
the sauce isn't quite as flavorful as I would prefer. If it had just a little bit more flavor, I'd probably really, I'd probably be a five. But four out of five, still very good. And honestly, again, sauce is such a personal preference. You could totally find this a five out of five. Who knows? But it's still very good. <laughs> All right, we had to switch cameras because our other one died. <laughs> Sad days. Sad days. It looks better. But at least it's not quite so loud now. The show has ended, so we are moving into dessert. And, but it was it was super cute. It wasn't the whole show on the first night here, at least. So. Um, got to meet Tiana. Yeah, I got to meet Tiana though. Sadly, Lewis did not come around to our table, so we missed it. But Tiana came around at least. So that's cool. Raspberry sorbet. Raspberry sorbet. I got this because I can't eat very much of anything. So. Beautiful. That's yummy. I like sorbet. Very good. For people that can't have dairy, gluten free issues, they do have you covered with a raspberry sorbet. So, very good. Right. Mm. I'm going to say four out of five pods. Yeah, very good, very tasty. No chocolate, sad days, but it's very good. I got Prince Naveen's flourless chocolate cake, which is layered with vanilla and chocolate cream with hazelnut sauce. And hazelnut sauce sounded bomb because it just reminds me of Nutella. So I usually don't actually really like cake, so we'll just kind of see. All right, here we go. Getting this solid fork full of it. Now, I'm I'm weird. I will fully admit it. I'm weird and I don't like cake. However, this is really good because it's it's very thick and not really it's not like that light cakey texture since it's a flourless cake. Four out of five. No. I it's it's still not my absolute favorite. But for it being a cake that I actually don't mind eating, I'd say that's pretty no. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of 5. It... The only reason you didn't give it a 4 is because I'm not. I wouldn't give it a no no no. It, it's hovering between a three and a three and a half. And I think that's only because I'm not a huge fan of cake. I think if you like cake, it's gonna be better. sparkling water lovers out there. Um, they do not unfortunately have soda water here. However, at the restaurants, if you ask for it, then they can give it to you free of charge or they have bottled sparkling water if you wanna be a little fancier. I was good with just soda water, but just uh, to, to let you know, <laughs> you can't get it up on the at the beverage stations, unfortunately. First night. First night on the cruise. <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry, in here. Sorry, I don't know why I was going for the stairs. Where are you heading for? I don't know. You want to go upstairs? Maybe we'll save that for a different time because you look like you're about to freeze. It's a little cold up here. <laughs> All right, heading back to the room. Got this muscles. Come on. Come me on the way down. Did you already forget where our room is? I forgot what deck we were on. <laughs> Can I see the first possible towel animal? Oh, I already forgot. Yeah, towel <laughs> animal time. <gasps> we have a fish. Oh. We got a fish in here. <laughs> see, this is what happens when you do a fish extender. Oh my gosh, they did stickers too. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. Let's go investigate. I'm so excited. All right. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What are you? What is, does anyone know? Go ahead and put it in the comments if you have any idea. This looks like Kyogre. Oh, Pokemon. It does look like Kyogre. 
Yeah, this is this is a Pokemon right here. Maybe he saw our Pokemon cards and he's like, Oh my god. I must make a Kyogre. Yeah, I'm curious what's showing for our I don't list. think a Kyogre is. It's that weird guy that I don't know who it is. Lapras is up front. Yeah, Lapras is up front. I'm curious <laughs> as to uh the only thing I can think of is a flying fish. And I can see that. That's yeah. how they look. So maybe it's a flying fish. Maybe it's a flying fish. We'll have to look for them tomorrow. Yeah, that's tomorrow. true. We did see them at one yeah, point. Yeah, we saw them on the last Wonder Cruise we did. So maybe. Oh, yeah. Morning. It was last Wonder Cruise. I'm so excited. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. What is it? I don't know. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, is it just like a. Is it like a. Wait, it looks like. It might just be like a. Oh, it's a cool container. Yeah, like a, yeah. But That's what? cool. Is it just weighted? I'm so curious. Interesting. I don't know. A little bookmark. That's so cool, though. Yeah. I wonder what that's for. Well, they did stickers, too. <laughs> well, everyone's probably going to do stickers. Yeah. It's a cute little that is super cute. Grogu and Mando. <laughs> yeah. That's super cute. Oh, my God. It's uh, it's themed after Calvin and Hobbes. <gasps> oh my gosh! You're yeah, that's right. totally themed after Calvin and Hobbes. That's awesome. Calvin is Grogu and Hobbes is uh, Mando. That's so cool. And we Ooh, have. Ooh, look at that! <gasps> that's so cute. Look at that. Is that an ornament? Yeah. That's really pretty. Look at that. Wow, they did much more than what we did. I know. This is our first time. It is our first time, and. We did not have enough time. <laughs> we'll be more prepared next Let's time. Let's see. To us from 5520, enjoy the Somers. That's so nice. Is that a rock? Yeah. A, like rock. a little paperweight. A rock. A rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. That's so well, thank cute. you very much, Somers yeah. family. In order to do a fish extender, if you're interested, what you do is join the Facebook group for your individual cruise. So each Disney cruise, granted maybe even each cruise line, who knows, but each Disney cruise will have its own Facebook page. And so you join your cruise and usually there's some amazing organizer who already is on top of it with creating the list, the sign up sheets and everything. And that's typically how you sign up for your fish extender. So highly recommend. Water yeah. wisdom there. This Do is it. <laughs> this is not done through Disney either. This is yes. solely a voluntary basis. It is, yes, yes. So there is no pressure to do it. It's only if, if you want to. But as you can see, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I can't wait to give ours out. I know, yeah. We'll have to make a little thing of that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give a little brief explanation on dinner stuff for me for this cruise because I haven't really gone into it at all. So I, at the moment, am dealing with some stomach issues and... Long story short, per doctor request, I have to be on a very specific diet. And unfortunately, that diet falls while we are on the cruise ship. So my dinners are probably going to be extremely boring. However, um, if anyone is looking, I'm doing something called a low FODMAP diet. Um, it's not the most fun thing in the world, but it is doable. So welcome to my boring food life on this cruise while Cheyenne eats all the delicious things. <laughs> but that is why my dinners are going to look kind of boring for the entire cruise duration so sorry about that but enjoy all of Cheyenne's delicious food and then you can look at my bland stuff but yes I hope you enjoy it <laughs> all right hello everyone hello. today is the conclusion of embarkation day day number one and I will say out of our other embarkation days I don't feel like we did as much today flown by, which I think also contributes to yeah. us feeling like I we also, did too much. The, our other cruises, we flew in a day before, mm -hmm. and so we got on the ship nice and early. We had a lot of free time. This one, we didn't do that. It was very much a go, 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 go day, so. Yep, so because it was so chaotic of a day that we experienced, there's some wonder wisdom for you all, is to give yourself plenty of time to get to the port and check in and get to your destination, especially a day early, especially if you're flying, highly recommend it. But even if you're driving, I, I still would recommend getting here the day before so that the day of is a smooth boarding process. Yeah, yeah if you can ever get here a day early, do it if you can. If you can't, that's okay, but it might be a little bit more stressful. Yeah, that's our wander wisdom for you no. to end the night. Although we have our usual 
game of the night. Wait, hold on. There we go. Game of the night tonight. Woo! <laughs> All right, so this is, I should have known that. It's a super easy trivia game. It's just, again, about stuff that you should have known. Very easy for the most part. There's a couple random ones in there that are really difficult, but for the most part, really easy trivia ones. And you can pretty much make up your own rules and like your own point system and everything. It's a super easy trivia game. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. that'll be our game for the night tonight as we wrap up and get ready for bed. Yeah. Um, thank you everyone for watching the video with us and coming along on this journey with us. Yeah, we still have lots more to go, including three days at sea on this cruise, along with uh, Cabo San Lucas, Mazatlan, and Puerto Vallarta. So if you can, we would much appreciate it if you like and subscribe so that we can keep these videos coming for you all. And yeah, we much appreciate it. Yeah. But other than that, I hope you have a great night, and we will see you in the morning. All right, good night, everyone. Good night.